Art for me is, is a creative process and as far back as I can remember as a youth, I was always working with my hands. I loved the first box of plasticine that I was ever given as a gift. And from that point on, I just knew that I had to work with my hands. I'm uh, Steve Robinson, Raku artist, and I've been doing Raku for the last 30 years. There's no end in sight with my art. It's an ongoing process. Uh, I, th I sometimes think to myself, okay, I'd like to complete that ultimate piece of Raku. Now, I am never going to get there. It's a journey that I'm on and a quest in a sense. Uh, I do want to get to that ultimate piece, but then again, I don't want to get to it. If I do, then I'm through. The studio that I'm in um, is in my basement of my house and it's filled with a lot of photographs, uh, invitations to different artists' exhibitions which I like to collect. Um, I'm interested in looking at other people's work all the time. Um, I have a lot of uh, little things from uh, the, my children that have given me artwork and uh, I, 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 I'm a collector. I, well, maybe I'm a hoarder. I, <laughs> I have stacks of uh, photographs and bits of clippings here, there and everywhere and when I get the time I, I put them up on the wall and I draw inspiration from that. Raku uh, originated in the 16th century in Japan. Uh, it was all centered around the tea ceremony where emperors would uh, invite potters to come and make tea bowls. And what they did was they'd, they'd make them, glaze them, fire them and plunge them into cold water and then give them out as gifts. Um, I think in my life, my growing up, uh, one of my biggest um, inspirations, influences in my art would be my, my father, who uh, always had a sketchbook around and um, I would leaf through it as a child and go, wow, how did he do that? And uh, a huge inspiration for me, and emotional too. Yeah.